Hey everybody, Christmas here, back again with Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark. We are heading on to Thesperos. Let's see what's up. Thank you for the information, Madam Mayor. After we resupply, we'll be on our way promptly. Not going to actually tell us what information. Okay then. What's the word in town? Desperos was attacked by some very determined bandits just a few days ago. Sounds like it was the same group we defeated on the road to town. They must have been preparing for a second attempt when we ran into them. But fortunately for the town folk, some members of Sigil were in town. With their help, the attack was quickly routed. What's Sigil? A group of malcontents who oppose the rule of the Immortals. They want everything to go back the way it was before the Immortal Council. You wouldn't have heard about them in the capital. They have not show they dare not show their faces there for obvious reasons, and fulfilling all powerful beings. Though they've been active for decades, Sigil's cause has never been popular, until recently. New leadership, I heard. No, I'd never heard of them. Who'd be foolish enough to oppose the immortals? Some people are unhappy with the rule of the immortals. With the right leaders, a dissident group like Sigil can quickly become a threat. Were they recruiting here in town? Actually, no. After driving off the bandits, they headed straight for the temple with several crates of supplies. As far as the townspeople know, they haven't returned. That's unexpected. We should find out what they're up to. Make sure everyone is ready for trouble. I don't want to get too cut. I don't want to get caught napping. Alright, and we've got a an event here. We've also got a shop and a guild. I'm not too worried about the guild. Ah, uh, the good old city. It keeps growing and growing. I wonder sometimes if I even recognize it. Nonsense. The bones are all the same. Say, do you remember my daring escape from old Radigard's compound? Yeah, I'll never forget that. You sprained your ankle coming over the wall, and the old man was right on your heels, ready to give you a hiding. You half hobbled, half ran down the street. Never before or since have I seen someone sprint with a bum leg. All because I dared to catch a glimpse of his daughter, fully clothed th at that. Your poor parents. I think your father would have torn his hair out over your antics if he'd had any left. It's a good thing they had me around the house to keep even things out, and... And Alicia, yes, you can say her name. And Alicia, what happened to her? Yes, yes, it wasn't my fault, really, I know. I wish I had been with her at the end, that's all. Hmm. Never considered becoming an arbiter before Alicia, probably from sheer stubbornness. I was determined not to want the same things you did. Well, you're a captain now, and quite a capable one of you if you don't mind me saying it. How could I mind? I say it myself all the time. When do you think you'll want to command your own unit? You know all it takes is to make her the request. I don't know. Right now I'm having too much fun with my sister in arms. Besides, where would your command be without my delicately timed levity? Morale would crater. Hmm. Ah, very well. I do want my own unit one day, but these are troubled times, and if something were to happen to you... If I wasn't there when... But Rainer, you don't need to... Yes, except that I do need to. Please, leave a lie. Alright, let's take a quick peek at the shop. Be pleased. All right, we'll just see generally what they have. Ooh. Lower mind. Huh. A little bit of HP as well. 
Yeah, sure, let's take it. Up to gold. Oh, wait, no, we can't, uh... Alright, even less mined. Hmm. Ooh, a cap to give speed. That's nice. And these are some things we've actually gotten. We actually got a clarity band as loot. I think I have one of my wizards wearing it. I don't actually know what it is. But, uh, yeah, we've got it. I don't think I need to worry too much about most of this. I will upgrade the weapons. And, oh, also I uh, got Wayfarer Treads, which give you jump and movement. So, we've got a whole lot of jump. And I could put the other jump boots on here as well, but I kind of like how I've got it going. Ooh, that's nice. And, again, we're going to wait on... Okay, got one of those already. I don't want to lower... Yeah, I don't think that's a good thing, so... Fire crossbow versus an auto crossbow. Plus one accuracy, plus four accuracy. Well, let's take this one. Right. I also got the Bolt brand. Yep, yeah, it's better than that. That's good. Ooh. Is that the Bullshit ones? Oh, okay. Let's take that, I guess. All right, that will do for now, I believe. All right, so let's back out of here. So, uh, yeah, I got those items. Just going to go ahead and pop in here. I don't know if she can see. Well, let's see. I've got the clarity band. Gives one of those icons. Not really clear what that means. Like, in my head, maybe it's mana regen. That's mostly because of EverQuest. Back in the day, the uh, effect that generated your mana was called Clarity, so... Really hate these loud vehicles, but there's not much I can do about it. Sorry. Uh, okay, so we also got the Wayfarer Treads, which give one jump and two... Or, two jump and one movement. Let's see. I don't think there's anything new there. Um... There's also a mace that I don't know if anybody can actually wield it. But it's actually not that great, so no big worries about it. Let's go. Nope, not that button. Let us save. Oh, actually, one thing I did craft between episodes, and I forgot about it completely. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I crafted a fire shield before, so. Lose out on a bit of fence, gain resilience. Eh, it seems okay. Let's try it. Alright, so let's continue on to Echidna Falls. Sounds good, right? That's the temple just ahead. Ooh. And several hostile creatures as well. We'll need to deal with them first. Are you feeling alright, Anadine? You look pale. No, no, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Get in the falls. I'm assuming defeat all enemies. Yeah, defeat all foes, rather. Alright, really like having Rainer here. He can swim as well. Not a fan there. And again, I did play a little bit in between so I could get my uh, casters back. 
think we'll go this route. Let's do it. These monsters seem very agitated. I've never seen the like of that odd-looking one there. Perhaps that is the reason. There's something unclean about it. Be careful, everyone. Did not even get a look at that thing. All right, let's move him just all the way forwards. See what he can hit. Pretty much everything. I, mean, I don't know what anything does. Can I... Oh, I can't get up there. That's a shame. Let's... Hang on, I want to see if I can... No. Okay, never mind. Sabotage is interesting. I don't know if it's actually useful, but it sounds fun, doesn't it? Right. And these guys seem... I don't know. I'm guessing magic-based. Just taking a guess. We'll see if that's helpful. And we'll bring her over here. Alright, can I hit anything from here? No, I cannot. Okay, let's see. Okay, nothing so far. Uh, none of these are at range. Let's throw a rock. Nope, no rocks for me. Okay, and what can she do from here? First off, if she were to go a little further, she could do a little bit more. Okay, let's see. Fire will be effective there. Good, good. So let's go ahead and start getting damage in. Ooh, 96. Lovely. Okay, let's see what one of these guys do. Okay, nothing yet. I'm gonna bring him over here since I can't really get to reasonable position. I will soul magic hay since we've already scattered out. Over here. And we get to see what you do. Not quite yet. Oh, okay. And, well, that's certainly an interesting place to put them. Alright, 32 damage there. 31 here. What's a stunning strike? She can play with him over here. He's got a counter. Does not appear so. Alright, and we'll get Rainer up on that hill. Should be quite effective from there. Alright, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go over here so she can attack from the side. So, we can get holy as well. 72 versus 94 there. Actually, what I can do instead... I've got a Wrathful Beam. Fifty one. Uh, now, I think I would prefer to just bloody well nail him. He does go next, so that's, you know, less than great. But on the other hand, 94 damage. Okay, the counterattack isn't great. Oh, you're not even... You're just... You guys really don't like my spellcasters. Boy, I am really tempted to see if you can swim. You know, I've yet to do this to anybody. Alright. 
Oh, okay. Yep. No swimming for you, buddy. Okay, that ultrasonic hammer hurts a wee bit. But uh, my regular hammer also hurts a bit. Okay, so uh, what are these guys weak against? Looks like Earth. I didn't catch it was the same with both of them. Okay, max move here. We'll move to, how about over here. As long as she can still reach, that should be fine. And that gives her the max gain. Ah, she can't reach. Okay. So we'll come here instead. And drop Earth 2. Looks pretty good. Okay, getting it with the counter magic. Less than great. Have him bebop on over here. And what about you? Ah, lightning, eh? Thunder, rather. Yep, that'll do nicely. May not have needed to do that, but... <laughs> sure did feel nice to do. Alright, and he gets the ultrasonic hammer. And then gets promptly stabbed. And again, this was 31 versus just good old... Uh, 32. Slow you down a bit. Uh, let's face our back to the wall. Speaking of backs to the wall. It looks pretty good. And I think it would be good to get over here, attack from the side for a drain health. See how effective this is or isn't. Okay. Ooh, got more Michael Lather. And let's see what just a regular attack does. Does dead, okay. Or no. My bad. Thought, thought that was dead. Where are you again? Um, Earth. This should kill you. There we go. And this shouldn't be within range of the other bugler, I guess. So that should be fine. Let's haste her. Maybe she can go a little faster than him since he got knocked down a bit. That does not seem to be the case. All right. How about a little bit of slow? Is that enough? It does not seem to be. Okay, you can uh, ultrasonic hammer from down there, huh? Well, that's... <laughs> that, that was a little annoying, to be honest with you. Oh, we've got a train going now. Lovely. Alright, let's just do nothing. That seems like our best bet. Pop over here, maybe toss a dark bolt out. Yeah, we can. Also, is there any... treasure that I can see? Doesn't seem to be. Okay. Back to hitting. Excellent. Victory. Okay. And we get to go in. I expect some kind of welcoming party inside, so be on guard. 
Anadine. I don't think I can enter the temple. I feel strange, sick, and it keeps getting worse as I get closer to the door. The dark energies corrupting Anadine are reacting to the relic within the temple. You'd best wait in town, young lady. Yes, I think Rick Yates is right. This close to the entrance, I can barely stand. There's no way I can enter. Alright, head back to town and rest. We'll be along shortly. Yates, we need your expertise. This relic has to tell us something. I will do what I can. Oh, please don't let me take him along on the adventure. I don't really like using him. There was a treasure there. I didn't see anything. Hmm. Interesting. Well, anyways, we will have to get to the temple in the next episode. So, until then, I do hope you enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like and let me know what you think in the comments. But, uh, until next time, catch you later.